We are here at else. Blog World. We have tons of guests today. Our next guest is Kelly from Dot Me. How are you? Hi, Kelly. How you doing? <laughs> excellent. So, Blog World just got started, but are you having some fun anyway? Yeah, it's a great conference. We've yeah. seen a lot of excellent panels. Oh, You're, already? Yeah. What, they were yeah, running they, yesterday. They started yesterday, well. yesterday and this right. morning. Yeah, we were setting up yesterday, so we didn't get to go to any yeah. of them. And now we're going to be Sorry. broadcast. But most of the people doing panels, or a lot of them are coming here, so right. we'll, we'll pick their <laughs> brain. So we kind of have a. What were I some guess. of your favorites? Um, I saw one this morning about uh, building, I don't remember the exact title, but it was built, what to do when your personal brand grows up. Ah. And it was about branding yourself sort of continually throughout your career, regardless of whether you are a part of a company or you're an entrepreneur and how important it is to stay loyal to your own brand. It was really fascinating well, stuff. Cool. Branding is actually something a lot of people in the blogosphere and you know, online are talking about. It's a super, super, super important thing these days. It didn't used to be. I mean, well, it always has been, but it, we've focused more about it online. And with thing. dot me's. Speaking of dot me, <laughs> I have a I have a, do, a dot me. Oh no, John P dot me. Nice. You didn't even know I had that. Did I did you? not. Yeah, I have John P dot me. Excellent. Thank you for being a loyal customer. Of I, course. I have Callie Lewis dot me. I know you do. You do. <laughs> so we have we have that covered. I guess. What else? What are, what are people using their dot me's for? People use .me to brand themselves personally online. Um, a lot of startups use us because it's a great way to reach out to your customer base in a personal way and to really engage people on a level that's a little more emotional, a little more memorable, a little catchier. Um, and people also use it, and organizations and bands and businesses also use it to create social networks. Um, the, cran the band The Cranberries has cranberries.me, and they've created oh, this nice. whole social group around the band and sort of mobilized fans in a way that you kind of can't without personalizing and, and branding you know, yourself just in your own, your own identity. So now do they also have like the cranberries.com or cranberries.com and then dot me and do they do different things with them or do they, are they just a dot me uh, there's a group. few. I believe they have a few sites. Yeah. Um, I'm sure their intellectual property attorneys have covered them in all TLD. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, I'm hope. sure, yeah. <laughs> So uh, let's talk about dot coms because people do use those. That's actually the original. It's the it's the thing that everybody knows. So dot coms now there are dot me. Well, there's and dot some other stuff, right? We've yes. got geekbeat.tv. Right, but uh, how do you find people are reacting? Because it was it was a struggle in the beginning when these new domains started coming out, like dot tv and dot me to get people to understand that, yes, this is a dot .com. You don't have to add dot .com to the end of yeah. it. <laughs> Wait, is John P. Dot dot me. Dot com? Com. No. <laughs> so what has your experience been in terms of Adoption. The, the branding itself, trying to get people to adopt that? Well, I think people have become, especially in the last few years, people have become a lot more savvy about how they live online. And we're seeing a little less of that. Yeah. Um, I think it's... As far as, I mean, we're a global brand, and as far as North America goes, um, moving away from dot-com, or the dot-com mindset is taking a little bit of time. Yeah. Um, we're seeing, and we've had a lot of luck with dot-me, and we're, we're memorable, we're catchy, you know, right. we, we've, had it, we've had it a little bit easier um, than a lot of other TLDs, but um, we're actually on the cusp of seeing hundreds more come into the market within the next year. Oh, and uh -huh. you mean top level domains? Top level domains. Hundreds more? Hundreds more. <laughs> like more dot somethings? Yes. Wow. The application wow. period for brands, communities, cities, you know, whatever you want has actually just closed. Like and dot New York or something. Right. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that application window has just closed. So probably at some point in 2013, we're going to see a total change to the internet. So we've actually been one of, sort of functioned almost as one of the test cases for that. And we've seen that it's very successful and people are really into it and you can't get, so .com, which is you know, great and catchy and memorable um, as well, filled up over the course of the last 15 years. And yeah. it's really hard if you're, if you're a startup, if you're, you, know, you can't get your name you unless you're willing to. You, you, right. can't even, you, you literally can't afford right. to get the name you need. And you can't it's even true. get vowels these days. I mean, everybody's doing you them without vowels. Oh, right. vowels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then the cool thing was Blog World, it's B-L-G-W-R-L-D. 
<laughs> plug world, like world in a blender? Yeah, sure. What, no, whatever. Whatever we can get, right? But you can get a great .me name. Yeah. Right. And you know, you're going to be able to get lots of great other sorts of names also. But you can brand yourself personally with .me and get sort of create an online experience right now that you can't really anywhere else. Yeah. And present yourself how really, many, really effectively for building that brand. How many domain names are registered now? Do you happen to know? Or what was the last number you heard? We're over a million. Over a million? That's awesome. But I'm not sure how far over a million we okay. are at this yeah. point. But our growth has been continual and, and pretty exciting. And this year, we've Where are you guys spice. based yeah. out of, by the way? So the TLD is based in Montenegro. Right. And it was functioned okay. as the country code top level domain right. for right. Montenegro. In 2008, it was opened up for general use. So anyone outside of Montenegro could register it you know, as, as personal branding. So the TLD is based in Montenegro. Have you been to Montenegro? I have not yet. <laughs> okay. I'm relatively new to the company. company. Trip. <laughs> <laughs> I think I really need to go do some research on right. uh, our company history. I got to get down to the roots. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. <laughs> I hear. I'm sure it I is. Hear. <laughs> yeah, I think you know when, when .me's first came out, it really was, um, People were doing them as like blogs, like it was a very a blog bloggers. centric. Um, and I, I think, and I've seen a few, and you're saying that people are moving out of that only it's a blog thing to real companies, real brands. Oh, absolutely. We have huge partners. I mean, Facebook uses us. Um, Delicious uses us. We've got um, Tony Conrad. Facebook has Facebook.me. Yes, F.me. Oh, F.me. Oh, F. F. Me. oh F. right. Me. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> no, I don't mean that. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, I do, because that's funny, but. <laughs> Tony Conrad's startup. Um, How can about I get J.me? Me I want J.me. <laughs> um, contact the registry. <laughs> right, I, bet. I bet that one's expensive. Yeah, probably. <laughs> anyway, go ahead, sorry. <laughs> no, no. <I'm laughs> um, you, were, you were telling us about uh, I, when I so rudely interrupted yeah. with the F.me <laughs> and. You were talking about other brands. Tony Conrad? Uh, yes, Tony Conrad's startup um, about .me is huge. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. And really, really is close to our mission. And uh, about .me, isn't that the one where people can go and like register themselves and then they get like a subdomain or something? Is it like John well, dot it's, about it's, dot me or yeah, something? Well, like or is it like a page like about me dot me forward slash John? Callie Lewis okay. and all your information. So you can essentially say, okay, your on your business card, you could say right. go to about dot me slash Callie Lewis and you'll find, please don't because I don't know what I've done with it lately. Um, <laughs> you can find all my contact information and all of that stuff. So, right. It's a fantastic service. It's yeah, really and if you people haven't locked your information in on there yet, you probably should go before, I haven't before updated somebody it else in a does. While. Absolutely. Yeah, when she if she doesn't go and grab all these things, somebody else will grab it and right. they'll, they'll domain squat on it, you know. <laughs> But, now, uh, there are certain people, just as a side note, that will domain squat and give it to me, which are, is very, that's very true. nice. You have very some, nice. That's right. <laughs> Nobody does that to me. They just domain squat and put terrible things about me. <laughs> you know so what? what another thing, though, that people do, you know, we talk about, you think about registering domains for stuff like your, your blog or yeah. whatever, but there's a whole new thing that you could do, is specifically with .me's. And what I'm thinking is, like, for example, Google Plus. I love Google Plus for my social media. Like I like Twitter and Facebook's yep. okay, but Google Plus I love. The problem is Google Plus doesn't have short URLs. You can't do like google.com forward slash John P or whatever. Um, so what you could do is you could register your John P.me dot me and you could have it just be a pointer to your Google Plus. That's a good way to get a, yep. you know, to give people a short Absolutely. URL that, that uh, goes right to your social media site, your favorite of and choice. Facebook, f.me, they're actually using it as a URL shortener, aren't they? Yes. Okay. So you and WordPress, WP.me. Like as well. F.me. FB.me, okay. Oh, FB. Me. Me. Sorry. That's right. That's Thank right. Thank you, Frederick. I kind of like F. <laughs> because they me. wouldn't do that to their brand. I would. <laughs> well, F.me may still be available. There if you go. Like then to I need a totally that. different brand. That's right. I, I, I need don't, that I'm going to guess it's not available. Oh, uh, you don't think so? I'm guessing not F. because me. people like you are out there. Yeah. <laughs> that would be so awesome. No. Yeah. <laughs> there is not a dot you out there. Please tell me. Well, maybe it's coming. 
Y-O-U. You said there's hundreds I mean, of new top-level domains coming. Maybe yeah, that's true. Dot .u, .u is could coming. be one of them. Yeah, dot .y-o-u. It's not dot .me, so. Right, right. <laughs> so that's true. With the possibility of dot .new york That would be and a great domain, by the way. It's not Dot me. You could register. It's not dot me. But then, what would we you point it to? Like a lot you of great domains. You point it to somebody other than me, right? <laughs> right. Anyway, <laughs> a random URL generator. Yeah, that's, that's right. It could be right, that's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> so, with, with, with the you know, like possibilities of dot New York and whatever coming out, is that going to hurt the overall branding issues that we're facing already? I don't believe so. Okay. There have been really, really uh, stringent intellectual property you know, guidelines placed on the process. So brand owners have been deeply considered. It's a process that you know, we underwent um, for five years in the domain community, you know, getting ready to do this. So there, there's lots of safeguards in place. And it's, it's actually going to be a really, really positive thing for brands, for brands, for communities, for individuals. It's going to be great. And hopefully one day, everybody will just understand that when there's a dot, that's it. Yeah, well, I, I think we're getting there. Because I think you we're see, pretty much there. There's still some. I see things like, like you'll see them that end in dot. IT, you know, yeah. and dot me and dot TV and dot everything. I think that people are kind of getting over getting this. It. The only thing available is dot com, and you know right. they're trying to tag that on the everything. Although the the folks over in the UK, and we love you guys, but they ah. still have the weird thing going on where it's like dot, dot com co, dot co dot, dot uk dot. I don't know. They've it's got a few like that. That's or weird. Whatever. Dot co dot uk. That's too much, guys. <laughs> so we just need one dot. Stop that. Go get a dot me or something, but it's too many <laughs> yes, dots. Yes, please register all of your dot me's. <laughs> and where can people go to register a dot me? Yeah, actually, how do they do that? Well, you can visit our website, which is domain.me, and our website will redirect you to many of our registrar partners. GoDaddy is one. Um, you know, we're, we have a lot of partners. So there's a lot of options. You can kind of go to your registrar of choice. And pick up a dot me, and they're they run around you know between seven and ten dollars a year. Yeah. So domain.com actually sells dot me's as well, right? Yes, they do. Yeah. Who does? They're a sponsor. Domain.com. Oh, excellent. Oh, domain.com. Yeah. Uh, domain.com. Yeah. <laughs> you can go to domain.com forward slash Cali, and you can get a discount. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, cool. Thanks Very for cool. joining us today. We appreciate it. Thank and you And we love our us. .me domains. Yes, we oh, do. Wonderful. Thank <laughs> you. Have a good show. Thank we'll you.